You're listening to Truly Unruly with Marcus and Jessica Trufant. What's good, y'all? How we feeling? What up, what up, what up? We're, we're well, womp, I'll speak womp, for womp, myself. Womp. We're busy, but we're doing good. So today's episode, what I want to talk to you guys about, in my opinion, I feel like can be some foul and disrespectful shit. Um, Ooh. It's just weird because every time we do these, some I like of these episodes. like foul and disrespectful. I know. I always be like, <laughs> well, I know somebody and I know that. And I realize I know a lot of fucked up people. Everybody's fucked up in one way or another. Yeah. But we've, we've made it almost a, a, a fucking career out of it. We're on like 80 some episodes. And a lot of it be like <laughs> fucked up people that can come across my life or some fucked up people y'all know. And I'm just like, damn, we know some fucked up people. Um, but mm-hmm. how do you guys feel about people that get married and the wife doesn't take the husband's last name? Now, I know it can go a few ways, but where I feel is disrespectful are women that have been married, get divorced, remarry, but keep the <laughs> other last name, Ooh. but don't get take on your new husband's last name. Now I know you there's guys do and that there's in Hollywood. Yeah, I feel like that's different in Hollywood. That's for business and branding and all this other type right. of stuff because you've created a brand um, with your name, so it, right, it, it, it makes sense, right? Yeah, and, and I you mean, got if you divorced, I'd keep your last name. <laughs> but the, the thing first? is, is like, I, I mean, and I yeah. get it. Like in Hollywood too, there's people who they're some of their names aren't even real. Like Jamie Foxx's right. real name ain't Jamie Fox. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah. Charlie it's Sheen's last it's... name really ain't Sheen. It's Esteban. Right. What? Right. Like, I didn't know that. Emilio Damn it. Yeah, Emilio Estevez, Estevez is his Charlie brother. Is Emilio. Emilio. Yeah, Emilio Estevez is the only one that kept his real name, and the other ones changed their name to Sheen, like they daddy. You know what I'm Damn. saying? Yeah. So, like, Hollywood, yeah, that's a branding thing. But do y'all feel like at all, like, that can be, like, disrespectful to the new person that you're with? I could see how it could feel like a form of disrespect um, or even kind of a power move, a control move. Um, my mom didn't take my dad's last name. So, and I, why was it? Because... She wasn't sure because that was the Miller legacy. She was going to be the last one to have that Miller name. And um, because, of course, when she had us, we took our dad's last name. So she wanted to keep her last name. She didn't hyphen it. (laughs) She kept her last name. So. I understand Um. that. But still, that could be viewed as a sign of disrespect because and it it can cause a lot of confusion too so that's miller that's rankin even though rankin is not our last name at all but anyways that's a whole long story um that we don't have time for we don't have time for that (laughs) shit well it's very quick my grandma married a man that she never had any kids with but she gave them all his last name so oh that's and then they divorced Right. So we Rankin, anybody that claims they're related to me as a Rankin, you're not, because that's not my last name. <laughs> oh that is wow. Not, it's Hilliard. So um uh yeah. So anyways, I could see that as kind of like, ow, you don't want to take my last name. We're supposed to be one. We didn't sign these papers. We're married. We're trying to be together forever. Why why wouldn't you want to take my last name? But there's many different reasons why like my mother's reason why people don't take last names. So I would just say it comes down to, um, and we talk about this all the time, the communication, where's your head at? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish by not taking the last name? I know that it's a thing in society that you have to take the man's last name, but there's some people that don't get down with the society type of stuff right Right. i want to be a uh not so much be a rebel but i'm kind of marching to my own drum i'm doing my own thing and if your partner is with that cool but 
Kale, like you said, it can be disrespectful if it's a power move. No, I'm not taking your last name because, you know, of X, Y, Z. And if it doesn't add up, if it doesn't make sense and you're just doing it just because you can, it can be a disrespectful thing. But at the same time, it just depends on where you're at. A guy that doesn't really care about it or that doesn't make – well, that's not a win for him and – he doesn't need that, then all right. You you know, it kind of living that hippie life and it, I guess free spirit, I guess whatever, whatever, then it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. But definitely, if it's a power move, I'm not doing it just because I don't have to and I told you I want to keep my name and all right. that. It, it's a, I think it's an uncomfortable space to be in. Right. Well, in some people's last names, you know, it might suck. Like if you're going to be something coming <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Um, but just like meet the fuckers. Booty, yeah. like, you know, there's meet some the people fuckers. have weird, you know, have last names like that. And Martha Fokker. Martha Fokker. Um, uh, Moby Dick. I don't know. But there are things like. Solid name. Solid you don't name. want that. Yeah, I don't want that. So I'll choose to just. But you want love, though, and I thought love trumps everything. Oh my God! I think our kids are up Somebody there breaking shit. Okay, crash cool. And burn up there. We'd be all right, though. Um, I mean, obviously, this is a conversation that you would have with your partner before you get married. Got right? to. But and I understand too, like, people, women that um that don't change their last name when they remarry because they want to have the same last name as their kids. Like, I understand that, too. That's like what my mom right. did. You know what I'm saying? My mom was like, I want to have the same last name as my kids. To take it a step further, what if, and this is a person I know, you get remarried, the first person who you was married to, you don't have kids with them, but you still keep their last name when you marry the new cat that you had a kid with. What's the reason? Is there I any know. reasoning is, behind it, or is it just because you want That's to? The thing. I've 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 tried to ask this question for years, <laughs> and I never got a straight answer. But then when okay, well then I've there's got to be an agreement. Wait, 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 wait. But then I've no wait. But then I've talked to the husband, and I kind of gave you guys backstory on the husband, the new husband, that he's kind of right. like doesn't have much wiggle room because of his um um situation. I would say uh. Uh, residency green card his situation. Status. <laughs> his, his status, <laughs> quote unquote. And so he even has told me, he's like, yeah, there's times when we get into it, she'll go and seek comfort in him. And the reason why he and her got divorced was because he <laughs> cheated on her with his best friend's wife, who his best friend ended up divorcing. So wow. it's some real grimy shit when you look at the whole story. Foundation's so, a little shaky the, in that But thing. that doesn't... Not uh, to pass judgment, but it oh, sounds hey, like yeah, there's please a... Please pass all of the judgment because I passed <laughs> all the judgments. Well, trust me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, wait a I'm minute. just like... Now, can we bring I'm it like, back, though, Kale? Wait, 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 wait. Well, wait. Agent Cassidy broke a full vase in our bathroom. So that's fun. That's... Fine, I'm in not one surprised. of the bathrooms. But that's what it's kids okay, it's cool. do. So the previous husband of the now wife cheated on her the with a friend. For, and she's now married, not taking his last name, but then going and confide, confiding, the new guys and confiding in, the in the cheater husband right. and the reason why. So are we sure they're not? They still don't have any type it happens. of Wait, 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 wait. Let me say this. I think um, they are. I swear my, to God, I think they are. I'm going to put my therapy hat on, Kel, for, for, for one second. Go ahead, True. Hold on. So with all that oh, God. trauma and everything that took place, and let me make sure I use my hands, make sure the people can see my hands as I talk, right? The trauma, everything that comes with it, and the uh, relationship, they probably had a good type of relationship. It was open. They communicated but this, but he just cheated. So. Yeah, this guy just stepped out and she came to a point where she couldn't treat it. But there was all these other good things that came with it. So you're saying she still likes him? 
not still likes him, but she is still comfortable and he still has a part of her, her? right? And so she feels comfortable. And I don't know what the new guy is um, thinking or saying, but as you go through life and you have these relationships, maybe you do leave a piece of yourself in these other relationships, something that um, is always going to be there. It's a different time. It's a different space. But you try to move on, and sometimes you just can't, though. And in a relationship for this young lady and this young man, I think that's tough. I feel um, it's unfortunate for the new guy, but he, he's in a spot that um, – I don't know if he, he don't feel like he can't speak up because of certain situations, not knowing the ins and outs of their relationship. But if you don't voice it, if you don't talk about it, things are going to continue to happen. But going back to your ex and speaking about that, I don't think there's anybody in any um, professional place would say that that's okay. I'm we not a professional. About this. I know. I'm you not a therapist. You don't, you don't do that. You got to cut that. You got to cut him off. Yeah. So I, I, I don't agree with that. I don't think that's um good i wouldn't stand for that i don't think he's an ex for a reason you right. shouldn't be going back and confiding in him like and you still have his last name uh-uh there's some i don't know that's really but sometimes people are okay with that there's people that share on they many don't have levels. any kids they have no ties like I zero know, but they're tied but, by their last names but maybe there's a is it for tax purposes a connection for, there <laughs> like what maybe is it there's for? a there's <laughs> There's some type of connection there that... You're getting a tax break. Like, she, are we sharing medical? Like, what, what are we doing? And him are comfortable with. I don't know if that um, ex is with somebody else, but there's all type of love triangles that happen on a daily basis. People get shot every day, B. So um, it's things that happen and take place. And what's the housewife show we was watching and where the girl was living with the ex and it was this and it was that, the... the uh, the buff dude, right? Oh, he's referencing housewives. Yeah. Oh, he does. I don't watch him, but I watch him. The buff dude and the lady was living with the, the guy. Was it um, at the Gorgas and stuff and them that the. Oh, you're talking about. Yeah, are you talking about Teresa? No, her sister or something. But it was a buff guy. There's several short buff. No, Italians. the big dude that was living. Oh, the, yeah. you're talking. And she had I another know what dude you're talking about Frank, living there, Frank but the ex was living boyfriend. in the house with them. I know it's reality yes. TV, but stuff like this could happen. But I think he really what, did live with her, Frank but, Catania. And what it, is her? How do I know his name? But it's but about not the being comfortable, and not that it's so oh, much Dolores. sharing. But everybody understands the situation, and they're okay with the. The level of the relationship but of where from, it's at. From and there's boundaries. It looks fucking weird. It looks it weird, looks but it's not for weird. us to like, though. But like I said, for them, it's okay because the this boundaries is not are the same set. same situation. They had kids together. That's true. And that's the thing. And then the ex husband moved in with Dolores' boyfriend Afterward. at the time and lived with him for a minute. Then after he moved out, their son moved in with the boyfriend. It, the whole thing is it's just... It's like gumbo. It's like gumbo. It's shout everything. out to the Real Housewives in New Jersey. I like I your wish, franchise. I wish, I wish motherfucker... Hold up. Wish motherfucker come and move into my shit. And I was like, what? Like, hold up. This nigga's listening to his fucking ex-wife getting the dog yep. shit fucked out of her. Like, come on, man. Like, yep. some, some of these dudes, man, like... I don't know, the pride thing or whatever, but, like, I wish a motherfucker would. And the person that we're talking about, I know well enough so I can say this. How are you going to explain that to your son? How are you going to explain to your son why you got this nigga's last name and not his daddy's last name? And yeah, it's not like he strange. got a stepbrother or sister, so why is your last name this? Because your maiden name is that. Mm, How are you going right. to explain it to your son? Oh, I'm just, I'm a, just a dumb bitch, so I didn't change my fucking last name. Damn, take his last name, quit acting Kale, like it. Kale, people get stuck, man. It's unfortunate. Nah, and that's just... It is. It is. Uh, and you kind of do what you're allowed to do at the same time. You well, you, she, you know, not allowed like in that way, but I guess if he's cool with it, I, I guess maybe that's minor in comparison to their love for one another is what I'm assuming. Well, well, you mentioned there were some other situations. 
as in the status. And you want her so bad, okay, I'm gonna let her do this and maybe just once so the I can have a piece changes, of it. I may not have go all find of somebody her. Somebody that will take his last name. She may be oh, sharing no. with the ex, but I just, uh, I mean, if I can get um, 67% of her, that's better than zero. And some people are okay with that, right? I just, I don't know. Motherfuckers ain't loyal to it's shit. It's scandalous, bro. though. Like, yeah, that's scandalous. And people ain't shit. Scandalous. So that's because what it comes down to. So I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Everybody ain't right. Everybody don't do right. And people, man, they're scandalous. And they do a lot of scandalous hey, stuff, tripping. man. So I ain't, I ain't talked to that motherfucker in three years. So that's why I'm willing to talk Damn. about the shit. Because wow. I don't fucking Word. talk to them. Nah, man, I don't talk to that. If you're a weirdo, I, I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah. talk to none of the weirdos, bro, in my family. Yeah. Nah, you can't even know every energy. I feel weirdos. that. Yeah, every family, I agree. Every family got some weirdos. And if, and if you're if you're blessed enough, you don't fuck with them. Yep. Yeah, you just don't fuck with them. But like their story's just so crazy. Cause I'm just like, you niggas really like, like no one sees anything wrong with this. Cause like I'm the only one that's ever been like outspoken and been like, yo, wait a wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, everybody. And I'm like, this isn't weird. And like, they can't you know, be happy though, Kale. They can't be happy. And I don't uh, like, I don't like to cast a, um, I don't like to be the dark cloud. But if they living like that, that's, that can't be something that's going to be sustainable for either of them. If she feels like she has to confide in her ex, can't talk to her dude, and is going back to the well, that's a bad look all the way around, man. It's just, nasty and like i said it's scandalous it it's uncomfortable for everybody involved and again i don't know if the ex sometimes. dude has a uh, a lady yeah you say sometimes but that's not it's sustainable that's not something that has a good foundation they starting out on the wrong foot right it's a bad look it's a bad look and you talk about pride and all this other stuff and men yeah that's that could be a thing it's nasty i don't like that i don't want that for my woman but if I'm stuck or I feel like I can't do nothing about it, maybe I go to the street and I do something about it, right? So I don't know kind of where this young man is on his uh, status of uh, residency. <laughs> but if you go out and you take yeah, care of I yourself, mean, when it comes down to it, you want to take care of yourself. You can only go right. so far and push mm -hmm. for so long. Eventually you crack and then you're done. Hey, you want to know the crazy way how she met this dude? Oh, no. Is <laughs> I'm putting all this bitch's business out. <laughs> hey, so look. <laughs> but it's just crazy how the whole shit starts. So so uh, the, the dude cheated, right? The ex. Mm -hmm. And she divorced him. And she ended up moving to another country to go teach dance, right? Because she, she was a dance teacher and shit. Mm -hmm. And she met this other mother. She met the new dude while mm -hmm. she was, you know, off doing dance and got pregnant. And then I remember she came back into town to visit once and you couldn't, t you couldn't see it. But I remember my grandma was like, that girl pregnant. I mean, I had a I dream like, you know about how fish or some fish. Yeah, my grandma used to say stuff nah, like that all the time. Nah, nah, I had a dream about nah, some nah, fish last was, night. I know somebody pregnant. Nah, nah. <laughs> I think that's a nah, real my thing. Was, I think it's real. Go ahead. Yeah. Now, my grandma was just like, I was like, for real, Grams, you think she pregnant? She goes, look, look at her, her skin, how her skin look, how her skin, how her skin is starting to is pop annoying? and how her eyes look. She goes, how smooth her skin looks. She goes, that girl pregnant. And my grandma had already like, called it out and so then like i'm like word so you know me and granny we just keep it to ourselves you know we keep it moving and then like my mom was like hey da -da 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 -da. and i was like word and she's like yeah and i was like ooh. and my mom was like don't say nothing i'm like oh we're keeping this some big ass secret i was like what she left town and she got knocked up by some other cat whatever mm -hmm. and then before you know it a boy moved up and da -da -da -da, and whatever so how they even met was like weird in the first place it and it was. just the, the ex dude i just know it burned him because like she always would say that she never wanted kids and she didn't want kids with him and so then as soon oh. as she leaves town she goes and gets knocked up oh, and then well, gets have, the, <laughs> has a kid I, with somebody I, that, else that's like that hurts no that's, when you do that's like that's karma that's what you get that's how it that's works. what you get bro and like so you gotta she eat even that. said, she yeah, she even said she was like, 
of all the women he could have cheated on me with, she goes, if it was somebody else, she goes, I wouldn't even been tripping that hard. But it was with who he cheated on me with. Mm. And then she goes and gets pregnant. Makes a difference, I think. Yeah, man. So, but so. yeah. So, and this all started out, but when and when it all like for me started to look weird was when like a couple years ago, because you know I, I don't be on social media like that, but when I was still like on like Facebook and shit, and I'd see her <laughs> shit, and I'd be like, why she ain't never this girl's last name is still da 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 da. I'm like, huh, that's weird. And I just never thought about it. I thought maybe, oh, it's Facebook. You know what I'm saying? People don't really be on it. She might right, not change right. her she shit, change whatever. It. But then, like, yeah, but then, like, I started, like, asking that's questions. Tough. I seen it again. It was like, huh. And then I was like, let me ask my mom. And my mom's like, oh, no, she. And I was like, what? And then that's when, like, shit started firing off. And I went to the new husband. I was like, hey, man. What's that all about? And he was just—he just put his head down, was just shaking his head, like, man, it's fucked up. Damn, I'm like, damn. I so that's why I was wondering, like, you know, if you guys thought that was disrespectful, you know, if women don't change their last name, you know, what I'm saying, especially like in a situation like, well, in that situation, uh, yeah, that's power a move. Power move by the young lady. It's a well, a, a force. She uh, uh, to me and. Just from the outside look, um, the outside looking in, not knowing all the details, I don't necessarily really want to be with you maybe long term. So I'm just going to do this. I can do it. And if you don't like it, then we're not going to be together. It's that simple, right? So, um, so, are you, it, so are you saying, Marcus, it's that deal of like, all right, let's see how long you're willing to put up with it type of shit? Yep. Testing the waters? It a dude's going to crack, though. Damn. Men are that's are so, that's so selfish. It is selfish, but it happens on both sides. Though men can be sensitive souls, right? So you we'll, guys are. So when you put a man in this situation, I don't care where you're from or what type of background you got. You have a breaking point. So um, for this young man, I feel for him. I feel for him. Um, I feel, I feel, I feel for him because he's a good dude, man. Yeah, he's actually man. a really good dude. Yeah, so it's he's tough. I don't feel for him that much because you got a choice. Even if you don't have a choice, you got a choice. That is real too, Jess. That's I true. So I but, but you try to do the right you. thing. Oh, I want to be there. This girl's pregnant and this thing and let's get married. I'm going to do the white picket fence and make this happen as a family. I'm going to make this work. And then you got somebody that's not There's really no working with you. I know, fence. but... Just the mental side of it. This is what I want to do, and the, the alternative well, is scary. On to like a... The alternative is scary, though. Okay, I'm. I won't be with you. I won't be able to see the kid. I won't be able to do this. I won't be able to do that. That's a scary place to be as well. And you, you know, this whole time when you've been talking about all this stuff, are you talk? You're like looking at. You're like he's like peering into my soul. Like he's he's saying this to me. Uh, like what? I I don't want to I don't want to miss out on my kids. You know no. I don't want to leave this crazy. Bitch, like they say at the church, still. if you feel convicted, and you come up to the altar, and we'll get you fixed up, and we'll. Ooh. I can't. Like, but, I can't. But it's ooh. funny. He's, Amen. He's doing all this talking. Amen. And he's, he's giving me these like I even side eye you. looks. I'm looking I'm at like, I'm looking at Kale. I'm like, are you <laughs> speaking from experience now? Yeah, no, I don't. No, uh, I'm just saying I um, I could understand. I'm just saying from a man's point of view to be in that situation, and maybe you may not, or you can't fully understand that because you're not a man, though, right? And, and being okay. I can gather. I know, I but. I mean, I can but, speculate. Quick, quick, quick question, you guys. Quick question, you guys. What about if, let's say, you get divorced, mm -hmm. y'all don't got no kids, she still has your last name, but then you go and try to get you go and get remarried and you get a whole new wife and your ex-wife still has your last name and you don't got no kids. Because I know some people in the town that's done that. Yeah. I know there's somebody that mm. that I know his situation was like that. And the bride that he was married to, she's hella fucking weak. <laughs> and she won't, she won't get rid of this nigga's last name. Sometimes it comes now, with as it, the man. the new wife, I would beat the last name out of her. And then, <laughs> you know, there would be some death threats. As I mean, the fire. 
I'm going to catch you outside type Can't shit if it. you don't change your last name. Like, those kinds of things could happen at that point. Because there is no point. But the to thing have that is, so when you get with somebody that's already had a situation, you got to take all of them, right? This is what comes with it. Sometimes it's nasty or they got stuff in their past that really don't jive, but you take the new them and you embrace that and Stop you're looking for- Stop talking about me. What is wrong with you? I can't stand him. And you move forward and you <laughs> keep it in the box, right? You try to separate. So if somebody marries somebody in the- X or whatever keeps the last name. There's nothing that the new situation could do about that in most cases, right? And you just got to try not yeah. to give it no energy. When you give it energy and when you try to beat the right. last name out of them and all that stuff, that's giving it energy. So I still think it's strange. But maybe if you literally don't have any contact with that person, right. you live a separate life, you, yeah. this person is no kids, isn't, there's nothing involved, yeah, you, you got to go. It's a clean break and she just really likes the last name or something. She just hasn't had time. Maybe she's busy. <laughs> Right? She's doing just like, busy what? being no, I'm shitty. <laughs> I'm busy it. being shitty and single. Yeah. Uh, that. Jess, let's say you let's say you and Marcus didn't have kids. You guys got divorced. Would you keep the last his last name? I don't see a reason why I would keep his last name. For what? Because personally, gotcha. I'm trying to not be associated. I need to move on. And Go I want to find somebody else and take on their last name. So got gotcha. you. That's fair. Well, at least one person. Keep your destiny. At least one last woman name. we know, Marcus, has sense. Right. In, at, well, kind of. Thank you, Jess. Jeez. No, I Jess, know, you Kale. You, pretty, you, you feel just, pretty I, convicted about the situation. Like, she did it to you. Yeah, no, nah, man. I just think it's hella disrespect. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I just I think it's hella disrespectful. It is. It is. She, you know, like, that's it is. It's unfortunate bro, like. and <laughs> and weird. And I don't know. Calculated is more the word I would think. You're doing that yeah, for a dope. reason. I don't know. It's not good. I don't know. It ain't, it ain't good. good. It ain't good. It ain't. Well, uh, this was a great episode, man. I felt like I got to vent some shit that I really ain't been able to talk about for like years. Well, you did. So, like, let's talk about it on the podcast. Get it <laughs> off your chest. I'm not mad at it. You did it. When we sat hey. down tonight, we didn't know Kel was about to bring the full fire. <laughs> hey, man, listen. It, like I said, Disclaimer, it ain't my life. It ain't what's it doesn't what it's not what's going on in my nuclear family or right. outside of my nuclear family within my mother and my siblings and our clan. You know what I'm saying? So if you know me and or you know anything about this situation, hell, if you're the person that I'm talking about and you and you and you're watching this, yeah, you know what's good. They Shame. joined right. in the finals you know right after the shot. Shame, Game of Shit. Thrones. But no, it is what it is. I just wanted you guys' opinion on this and what you guys thought about this. Because outside of me knowing the people that are, that went through the situation that we discussed, there's probably other people that's going through the exact same fucking oh, yeah. thing or have dealt with the same thing. Oh, so yeah. um, I just felt like it was a good topic to talk about tonight. Yes, but it is good, good stuff. Topic. Um, oh yeah. I don't know. Like maybe on the truly unruly page, you should ask: Is there a topic that we should discuss? I don't I like know. It. What do you think about that? Like, kind of I'm putting it on the page, but right. you know. Yeah, I've I've done that before, and I feel like sometimes people are a little too scared because it's their IG, and so it shows their profile. So they're like, "Oh yeah. God, they're gonna know it's me." So what I'm thinking of doing is actually um, starting a truly unruly like email, so mm. people can send anonymous mm. emails. Mm -hmm. So if like you don't that. want your identity to be known even if you do send us a dm like we're not gonna blast your identity like we're not right. fucked up like that no so, Je but so you see what kel yeah. did he got really close to the person's identity <laughs> but he didn't <laughs> actually reveal it i like so, it kel. i really like that idea send us some situations that they may have yeah. been a part of or something they know or some people they know and then we right let uh, three non-professionals troubleshoot it for you but this is real <laughs> life though this is real life, though. And this, this is, is real life. Word. Truly Unruly, Marcus Trufon, Jessica Trufon. My name is Kel. Follow these guys on IG and follow the page, Truly Unruly underscore podcast. And remember, you can DM your questions there. We'll have an email set up here soon, so you can send your questions to the new email. I'll have, I'll have that set up by next episode. That's on my Solid. checklist of things to do. Solid and uh, if you want to give us a listen, listen to us on your favorite podcasting app. 
Um, of course, like, subscribe, leave a review. And if you want the visual, just check, just search, excuse me, Truly Unruly on YouTube. Catch us every Sunday night also on Converge. I think that's it. That's it, brother. All right, y'all. Till next time, peace and much love.